Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So it's bright and early. Mind, body, and soul, daily discipline. This is how we get through. I want to talk about some dating advice today for my single people out there. I've been single for the last couple years. The last woman I dated that I was in a relationship with committed suicide. I figured I might as well take this opportunity to be single for a little bit and to change some things about myself because I felt like I was in a pattern of bad relationships. I've been asking myself as I've been ready to get back into the dating scene, which I feel very ready now to move back into the dating world. And I would like to be in a serious relationship. So I wonder, how do I find the right person? I've found the wrong person. I know what it's like to find the wrong person. How do I find the right person? I think a lot of people ask themselves that. So I have a list of one, two, three, four, five points. And let's go down the list and see how we can find the right person. How do you find the right person? I think first of all, we need to dispel the notion of dream girls or soulmates. If you're a woman out there watching this, get rid of this idea of a knight in shining armor or the perfect man. Forget about the Disney movies that you watched. We need to forget about these fantasies that we have of other people's relationships and we think that they're so perfect and we want to have some idealized perfect relationship just like our grandparents. Your grandparents fought and argued. You don't know if what went on behind doors with that relationship. We have to be realistic. And that's important. It's incredibly important to start off when, when, with a goal, is to be realistic. Now that doesn't mean to aim low. Some people think that being realistic means aim low and that's kind of gaslighting that, that others give you and you don't want to listen to others when it comes to your goals. You take advice but you don't let them drive the ship or, or point you in a direction. A lot of people speak from their own fear, from their own negativity, from their own experience and all we can do is just gather information and make our own choice like when you do any sort of research. So the first point on this list on how to find the right person is we have to become the right person. If you want to find the right person, you have to become the right person. Become the person that you're searching for. Doesn't mean that you become a woman. It doesn't mean you become your opposite. It means that instead of searching for someone else, You go within and build yourself stronger, build yourself better. Build yourself into the ultimate version that you can create. We don't find ourselves in life. That's an endless, futile search. We create ourselves. When you're done searching around in the dark, trying to find yourself, let me know. You sit down anytime. Just sit down right where you're at and start becoming the right person. Become a person that is choosable. Become a person that's worth choosing. Think about the type of relationship that you want. It's always important to, when we focus in on a goal to have a vision. You want to be explicitly clear on what your goal is so the universe can help you and respond to that vision. So ponder this. You can make a list and this is one thing that I have done is make a list on the pen and paper of all the qualities that I would like in a woman and all the qualities that I would not like in a woman and I look at it as a form of self 
introspection of, of, of my own mentality because when I'm looking down that list of things that I want and I don't want in a person, those are qualities in myself that I need to work on, that I need to cultivate, that I need to accentuate. If you want a woman who's nice, you better be a nice person. If you want someone who is loving, you better be a loving person. We can't make demands upon others that we're not willing to meet ourselves. You draw the right person to you when you become the right person. You're looking for the right person? Become the right person. The next point is in order to find the right person, you need to be willing to sacrifice. What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to give up about your lifestyle and your routine? In order to include someone else. You can't go looking for someone that's going to try to fit into your unique puzzle, your little unique life. Because you can search forever and then you may never find someone that fits perfectly into your life. What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to change? Can you change what side of the bed you sleep on? Could you give up a part of your space? Could you give up a part of your solitude and your attention? You need to be able to give attention to somebody. Are you too aloof? Are you too distracted? Are you too self-absorbed in your own little projects that you can't just look up and say, oh, hey, baby, you look nice. You, you have to be able to be willing to sacrifice aspects of yourself for others in any kind of relationship. What are you willing to give up? You can make a list with this also. What are you expecting someone else to give up? That's always weird. We expect others to give up things about themselves. You might want to give up your expectations. Let's go to the next one. How do I find the right person? Well, one of the ways that we find the right person looking at the question how, how do I find the right person it's a question of how do I find the right relationship how do I have good relationships right isn't that really what the question is when I ask how do I find the right person is how do I have good relationships so in order to have good relationships we need to be able to fix relationships with family Are you looking for the right person in your life? Meanwhile, you've already had major falling outs with your children. You're not talking to your son because you're angry at him. But you're actively interested in replacing your ex-wife. How do you expect to move forward with one relationship when you've canceled another? We have to be able to look at the relationships in our lives with our family and our close inner circle and make sure that those are tight and to cultivate those. Relationships need to be cultivated. So fix the relationships with your family. I know it sounds odd. You want to find the right person. You want your dream girl. You want some sexy hot chick to sleep next to you and to worship you. That's unrealistic. But what, is it, what do you mean? You, you say you want to find the right person. You just want to be happy with the right person. What the fuck does that even mean? When you can't even fix relationships that you have. How do you plan to find the right person when you're terrible at relationships? Get better at relationships. They're reciprocal. Loyalty is a two-way street. Let's go to the next one. The question that we're trying to ponder here is how do I find the right person? So, one thing we have to realize in life is that you can have whatever you want as long as you're willing to put in the work for it. That work is a combination of what we're talking about here of what you're willing to give up, how deep you're willing to change yourself. You can achieve any goal that you want in this world, anything. You can become president if you put in the right work to do it. Have the discipline jump through the hoops, go through the necessary suffering. 
You can accomplish any goal, any goal, if you make the right sacrifices. Let's go to the last one. You want to find the right person? You want to finally find that right person in your life? Ask yourself, who would I be if I went all in? Who would I be if I stopped fucking around, stopped being lazy, stopped fooling myself, stopped lying to myself and stopped lying to others? Stop trying to pull the wool over God's eyes and, and be honest and go all in towards myself, towards making myself better, towards my goals. Went all in for this shit. Stop sitting around being lazy, wishing, being dreamers. I fucking hate dreamers. I like doers. Who would you be if you were a doer? If you were doing it? If your whole life, instead of wasting time, if you were going all in, going hard, like, like Michael Jordan on the court, like LeBron James, you were just doing it. Who would I be if I went all in, all the time? I took risks, I took chances. I was willing to gamble it all. And not in a, a silly, impetuous way. When I say gamble it all, I don't mean some high stakes idiot at a poker table, I mean somebody who is willing to take the risks in order to get the rewards. There's been so many times when I've been at the end of my rope and I realized that I need to make a leap forward and use this weakness, flip, flip this weakness around. Sometimes when we're at our last breath of air as we're drowning, is when we can find that extra strength, that 40% more of extra strength that you've been storing up, you all have it, we all do. You can use it to go all in, to fight against those waves. You use that energy to save yourself. Now look at these five points we just went over and if you were to be that type of person, to really go through these five points, that right person that you're looking for. How do I find the right person? They will find you. It will happen. It's all food for thought. Thanks for watching.